the fifth attempt to wake somebody up with cold water throughout the camp. Well, Blair is over here in his hammock, and I think he's sleeping, so we're gonna sneak over there, and if he's sleeping, he's uh, not gonna be sleeping for long. Tagged Out Tour is all about the challenges. For each leg of the journey, the hunters will receive a new location and a few challenges to try and complete. Some challenges are harder than others. There's also a bank of challenges the hunters can complete during any leg of the trip. These community challenges can be completed by any hunter at any time. If any location-specific challenges aren't met during the allotted time, they go into the community challenge pool and then can be completed by any hunter. There's a few up top that are turning. We found a persimmon tree right off the road here, right by Beanfield, which is a little odd because usually I don't see that back home unless it's by water, so. Okay, so one of the challenges is throw a candlelight di candlelight dinner for your favorite bus mate. Caden's over there talking, so he's my new favorite right now. Anyway, congratulations, Caden. You're getting a candlelit dinner, and I'm even going to make it for you. Follow me. We have a candlelight dinner <laughs> to deliver. Are we having a candlelit dinner? Here's your candlelit dinner. You can uh, keep talking about your strategy. I'm your favorite. Would you make them? Tacos, man. There you go. I'm your favorite. Heck yeah. Awesome. That was kiss sweet. Em. Yeah. You were kiss sweet. Em. You were a sweet man. Yeah, don't I get know. a kiss too. Uh, whoa, whoa, I'm out. <laughs> uh, yeah, me too. See ya. Challenge has been completed, so it is going on the challenge board right up here. So, hey, that's one for me.
Mexican Welpen. Mexican On the way back from the woods, I decided to try my hand at the Pocky One Chip Challenge, which turned out to be a huge mistake. After eating the chip, I quickly downed a half gallon of milk and an entire box of Pop-Tarts, just trying to get some kind of relief. That relief, however, did not come until we were back at camp and I threw my guts up. Sadly, none of the boys were brave enough to film that experience, and I definitely don't blame them. Boys hunted hard for the next couple days with very little luck. But things did turn around when we were invited by Mr. Keith and his friend Derek to come out on the river for some bow fishing, bonfires, good music, and good times. We can't thank them enough. We might not have killed a deer this trip, but we're gonna kill some fish. Yeah, we're gonna take some fish out because the deer hunting has been slow, extremely slow. Yeah. That's crazy how oh, big it was. Heck dude, yeah. yeah. That's awesome. Are you good? Yeah. I'm trying not to break the boat. Look at that sucker. Heck yeah. Well, boys, that's the first one of the night. Went three. Oh, Tailed him. Hell. It doesn't matter, man. You got it. It is a hit. Nice job. Heck yeah. Heck yeah, boys. Come on, Dallas. <laughs> Get that picture. One week later, we were wheels up and headed to our next stop, which we thought was Virginia. However, halfway there, we realized we had made a mistake and the Virginia bow season would not be open when we arrived. We quickly switched to plan B and headed back to Kentucky for round two. On the way to Kentucky, we spotted a Bucky's and of course, we had to stop. Dude, you have the biggest gob of land in your belly button. I've no, it keeps happening, dude. Every How? night, I pull it out every night. I, I, I literally pull it out. You could have started a fire. I don't know that. why I it happened. You to know. Me. Like literally, <laughs> that right there would have got you. Like that was against classroom, like fire marshal violation right there. That was Honestly, scary. I, I don't know why it happens. Like literally, it, it's yeah. 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 Go ball! Yeah. yeah. Making friends on the interstate. Alrighty boys, so we's, we's here in, in the great state of Kentucky. We're not terribly far from uh, the country that kind of reminds me of where I'm from. Um, and we're about to go out and scout it out this evening, see if we can't find us uh, something that would maybe make us feel a little, a little happy going into the next couple days of hunting. Got done scouting for the evening. We uh, found some good sign. Some found some really good sign. About eight rubs within a 75-yard range. Two scrapes. There were two scrapes next to each other with the rub on the tree. So of course had to pee in it. You know, good old Ted Bright taught me that one. But uh, we're gonna wait till that cold front comes through. Give it a day or two to rest. Yeah, we're gonna go in after that buck. White oaks about every 10 feet. No joke. So I'm excited. There's a buck in there. Um, when I when I say eight fresh rub or eight rubs, I'm talking eight fresh rubs. Like I'm not I'm not even joking with you. That's crazy. So that's the best sign we found all trip. So 
okay. we're going to go out here and there seems to be a, a fairly large bench that runs the whole length of this uh, kind of ridge out through and we're just going to go check it that first flat off the mountain type thing see if we can't find us a, a rub line or some scrapes or something we're about to go save this turtle oh no right oh he's going the wrong way freddy oh dude he's beautiful to save his little slow butt. <laughs> he's a little scared, but he's gonna be safe now. All right, y'all, so we are scouting this morning. Uh, we got a good spot over there, so now we're gonna try over here, because other places we just haven't found to be very good, but it seems like this area is pretty hot, so uh, we're gonna give it a shot. Uh, probably go back, get some lunch, and then drop off that side and hunt there in the evening. So, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Boys, feathers are not lucky. God is what kills deer. But sometimes I feel like God gives you like little wings uh, through certain things. And we're about to creep into this spot. There's some feathers laying here, so I'm gonna take one with me just to look at while I'm in the state. Just finished the evening hunt. We uh, we saw a buck. It was pretty cool. Um, we hopped in there to a good spot that we'd scouted. Found two scrapes and about eight, nine rubs. Found it the first day. Pretty lucky on that. Uh, but that buck came in about 20 minutes before dark. Uh, I saw him. Grayson didn't get a chance to see him. But he came up and just fed. He was about 30 yards away. Uh, unfortunately, the tree that I picked over the other tree that would have had a clear 20 yard shot uh, did not give me an opportunity. I could have probably squeezed one through there, but it wouldn't have been ethical. Uh, so I, I decided to pass on it. Matt! Smoked her. I didn't even see her. Smoke. Were you not on? No. Are you rolling? Yeah, I'm rolling. All right. Dude, smoked her. I, I, I thought you were shooting the one coming out from behind the tree. I was waiting on her to come out behind the tree. Oh, dude. It sounded good. It dude, sounded smoked perfect. her. I told you as soon as she came out. And so we tracked her this morning for a little while. Uh, had good blood, and then it just started to fade away. So we searched the area a little bit. After a little bit, we decided to back on out of there. Uh, we're thinking it's a liver hit. I guess it was quarter and two, a little bit more than I remember. Yeah, we're, we, we let it sit for about eight hours. Um, we're gonna go back and meet some of the guys out, and we're gonna Try to search that area. There's a little creek bottom that runs through there down to a river. So we're gonna walk that out, um, try to recover this deer.
Well, it is the second to last day, and shot that doe yesterday morning. Uh, I just hit farther back than I thought. Um, looking back, made some mistakes on the track. Uh, stuff to learn from. It sucks. Um, we tracked her about 150 yards and then lost blood. Uh, and then after we backed out of there, I believe it was too late. Um, Should have called a tracking dog before we did. Um, just a lot of things to learn. Uh, us younger bow hunters, we uh, we definitely got a lot to learn. Um, that's part of part of you know the learning process. So hopefully not gonna make that mistake again. Learn from this lesson. Um, luckily there's she ain't gonna be wasted. Coyotes, bears, something's gonna eat her. But it sucks. I mean it's it's never fun losing an animal, uh, especially after you know working hard and. Uh, find that animal setting up and you know executing the shot so on any day it's on me uh, as a bow hunter I made a bad bad shot and uh, do what I can to fix it so well that wraps up our time in Kentucky we have heavy hearts knowing that we couldn't find that doe but we searched for days and did everything we could to try and honor her sometimes these things just happen and the only thing we can do is learn and move on now, the Tagged Out Tour is headed to Indiana. <laughs>